Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, the Saudi show, it's getting hammered on here isn't it? So I might as well put my tuppence worth in. Uh, the point I'm going to make is this right, this show is a shocker, it's a shocker I mean Ivan Hopi Price, right? I think you can see it. Ivan Hopi Price, 1 0 against TBA. Diego Pacheco, 7 0 against TBA. Mohamed Drazul Majadov, 1 0 against Tom Little, 10 and 7. I'm glad Tom Little's going to get paid. He's been sparring Joshua, so. Tom Little will get uh, some money out of that job. Philippe Ergovic, 9 0. He's supposed to be Eddie's secret weapon, isn't he? Against Eric Molina, a drug cheat. Dillian White, 26 and 1. Against Mario Vac, 35 and 5. Dillian's been done it past and he's got one pending. Vac's been done. Uh, Alexander Povetkin, three time cheat, drug cheat 35 and 2 against Michael Hunter 18 and 1. Then you've got Ruiz and Joshua, they've never failed the test, have they? So, a few weeks ago, you've got Eddie Earn crying his eyes out because of Patrick Day passing away. Now, and saying that the sport of boxing is really dangerous and things like that and I see where it's coming from because it's not nice when somebody in the boxing industry dies, it's awful. I know what my good friend Glenn Rhodes went through with Scott Westcalf and John Fuchs and the lads up there at the gym, Matt and Sheedy, Sam Sheedy and all the lads up there, young little crusher, they all knew Scott didn't they? And you've got Eddie Hearn here putting all these drug cheeks on here in Saudi hey what's all that about? Why, why is that? why is that? why? I don't get it I don't get it uh, I think Dillian White's not going to get any stick in Saudi because nobody will have a drink will they? and I think that Dillian Dillian White situation needs some clarification if he's innocent. He's innocent, but if you pee in a cup and then they split it into two tubes, isn't it the same urine? I mean, I have to go on every week, mate. It's the same, isn't it? At least we're allowed, aren't we allowed to believe it's the same. So I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't get why he's done that, Eddie. I mean, isn't he supposed to be. The saviour of the sport and the shining light and so what they're doing they're charging us an extra fiver for Joshua to fight so it's an extra fiver Joshua's not fighting at home he's fighting in Saudi and we've got one two three four five five drug cheats three fighters with a combined record Sorry, four fighters with a combined record of 18 fights. Then we've got two TBAs. Tom Little, 10 and 7. Tom is area level, isn't he? But he's got on the Saudi because he's been sparring Joshua. So he's worked his ticket, hasn't he? He's a travelling lad and I like Tom Little. I spoke to him in Bulgaria. He's a nice kid. I like him and I hope he gets paid because he don't go around giving it the big end. He's a pretty humble guy, Tom Little, if you get to know him. And I know all, all hardcore boxing fans would like Tom Little if they got to actually sit and have a chat with him. He's a decent kid. So I'm glad for Tom. And he shouldn't mow that guy down there 1 0, shouldn't he? I want to see Tom Little against Dave Allen. They've both not got a belt yet. That's the fight I want to see. Tom Little against Dave Allen. What's up with that fight? I mean, you mentioned that and to Dave Allen and he's like a dismissive of it. Why is David Allen dismissive of 
a fight with Tom Little. I don't get that, me. Or well, why? Who's Dave Allen's best win? Who? Nick Webb. So, see where I'm coming from. So I'd like to see Dave Allen against Tom Little and then they can resurrect the career as winner. You know, Tom's got seven blemishes on his record and I think Dave's got seven blemishes on his, so why not? They've both not got a belt. So, but the show is garbage. Absolute garbage. Right? It looks to me like it's a PED convention. Right? It's a PED convention. 25 quid and Joshua ain't got a belt at the moment. But they put it up a fiver, so he loses his belt, they put it up a fiver and it's in Saudi. Fans can't have a drink. Well, it's 25 quid. I don't, know, I don't agree with it, but remains to be seen what Tyson Fury and Wilder's undercard's going to be, doesn't it? If it happens, but who's to say that Tyson Fury ain't going to sign with Macho? There's always a surprise around the corner in boxing. There's always a surprise, so that's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it, but like I said, we are cutting through the... We're cutting through the... We're cutting through the old... We're cut... Sounds like a cow, that, doesn't it? We're cutting through the... Bullshitting O2. Bullshitting O2. Were they on about uh, one of Eddie's shows at O2? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing and don't let these tell you any more. Oh, Alright, so peace out.